Okay, good morning, everyone. Sorry for having a wait. So hopefully you finish your do now. And today we're gonna to talk about uh, generating equivalent expressions again, uh, because we still need to work uh, on something that uh, we finished, we didn't finish yet. And there is a vocabulary about like terms, uh, the terms that has uh, the same variables. Okay, so today's objective, it is the same objective that uh, we started on Monday. I can generate equivalent expressions using the fact that addition and multiplication can be any order and any grouping. So the essential question is how can you simplify simplify algebraic ex expressions? Okay, and do now is over. So let's start uh, first uh, to talk about additive inverses and having a sum of zero. So we already know this lesson uh, from a first week, uh, like when we talk about opposite of something, Thing, uh, we, ju we just need to put the negative sign in front of it. The reason why we put negative, uh, putting negative sign in front of it, it, it's because we're talking about additive inverse. Additive inverse means uh, like the, if you guys remember the opposite of a plus sign, it's a negative sign, opposite of negative sign, it's a plus sign. So that kind of additive inverse. So plus and minus uh, signs, okay? So for the first one, it's, it's already done for us. Uh, when we have a one, and it's also expression because expressions was numbers, uh, expressions was letters, and expressions was like uh, the four operations, right? So numbers here, that's why number is also an expression. So opposite of that number, it's a negative one. When you add a number with its opposite, it has to be equal zero all the time. That's the key fact that we learned in the first or second week of the school. So the next number is three. Opposite of three is negative three. And when you add three and negative three, so we know the fact that it has to be equal zero, right? So the next one is negative seven. So what is the opposite of negative seven? We just need to put the negative sign in front of the neg negative seven, right? Or we already know that the, the opposite of negative seven, it's a positive seven. Or when you simplify this, like when two negative sign comes together, Together, it becomes positive. It's the same thing. So, which means it becomes seven. And when you add them negative seven with its opposite, which is seven, and it is equal zero. Yeah. But we know this facts again. We're, we're just reviewing for the first four row. And next one is uh, negative 12. If we put negative sign in front of negative 12, okay, and two negative becomes positive, and opposite of negative 12 is 12 itself. And when you add them negative 12 with 12, which is equal zero again. But when it comes to letters, the same steps, the same reasoning. If the, if the letter is X, if you put negative sign in front of that letter, which becomes opposite of that X, and it's the same thing. If you add X with its opposite, which is negative X, it's going to be zero again, right? they're canceling out each other because they're opposite of one another. What is X? X, it's a variable. It's a letter. We use variables for unknown things, if you guys remember from a uh, previous class. So 3X, what is the opposite of 3X? You just need to put the negative sign in front of 3X, okay? So that's it. This is the opposite of 3X. When you add 3X with its opposite, zero. it's again zero. Okay, I think we got the point now. When we talk about additive inverse, we just need to put the negative sign in front of that expression. So next one, now it becomes a little bit like couple uh, more, one more step further. So your expression is X minus three. So you need to write it down that X, uh, I mean X plus three like this, but you need to put inside of parentheses this time because this, expression has two terms. The first term is x, second term is three. So that's why you need to put inside of parentheses. And then you need to put the negative sign in front of that parentheses. It's because you're trying to find the opposite of that expression, okay? And the second thing is you need to simplify this parentheses. Here is the fact about seeing negative sign in front of parentheses. If you see negative sign in front of parentheses, you need to switch everything inside opposite. For example, so X is like positive X, right? So you need to make it like negative X. So put the negative X. And this plus sign will reverse. So this is what I mean, you need to switch it. 
So that plus sign will become minus again, and you need to put the three itself. So this expression will become opposite of uh, x plus three, okay? So this is the key point for today's lesson. When you see negative sign in front of parentheses, everything inside will switch opposite. And let's see the proof of opposites now. So the first expression was x, x plus three, right? X plus three. And the second expression is negative x minus three or minus x minus three. So if, if you see this like, like there is a positive x, there is a negative x. So they're canceling out each other, become zero. So there is a three and there is a negative three and it also becomes zero, which is, yes, we're, we're right about finding uh, opposite of the first expression. And for the last one, let's do the one more example. So my expression is 3x minus 7. I'm going to write it down 3x minus 7. But I need to write it down this inside of parentheses. So don't forget this. If you have it like a more than uh, one term, which is this one is the two terms, when you see a negative sign in front of it, like always put inside of parentheses. And the second step, switch everything inside of parentheses. Because if this is a 3x, it becomes negative 3x, OK? And this minus sign in front of the seven become positive because, because of the negative sign outside of parentheses, okay? So now this expression will become opposite of three X minus seven, okay? So the, basically you're switching the sign, everything in, uh, in front of those each term, in front of three X, in front of seven, you're switching it. And the proof is, so you need to add them, it's a three X and minus seven, whoops minus seven and minus three X plus seven. This is the second expression. Okay, so when you add them, it's obvious now that you can see this, there is a three X and there is a minus three X. So they're canceling out each other. There is a seven in front of seven. There is a negative sign. There is a seven in front of uh, seven. There is a positive sign. So opposite sign with the same quantities will become always zero. Okay, so this is a today's lesson about uh, finding additive inverses uh, when there is a sum, like sum means uh, when you add them. Okay, so the next slide, it's also very important. Let me show you. The next slide is, yeah, this one. So there are two different kinds of subtract, to subtracting expressions. So subtracting means uh, when you see a negative sign in front of parentheses, for example, uh, for the first parentheses, pay attention to the sign in front of it. Is there a negative sign? So I don't have to worry about anything inside. So you can write it down as it is. It's a 40 plus nine, okay? And for the second one, this is the second parentheses, but in front of the second parentheses, there is a negative sign, which means you need to switch everything inside, which become like negative 30, and this plus sign will become minus and two, okay? So now when you do the math, like 40 plus nine is 49 and 49 minus 30, it's a 19, 19 minus two, it's a 17. Of course, you, you may say this, hey, mister, why we're doing this very in a long way? There is the easiest way. Why we're not doing just the math inside of parentheses first, like 40 plus nine, which is uh, 49 and minus, 30 plus two, which is 32. But the, my point, it's not about the figuring out the result like right away. My point is I was trying to explain what happens when you see a negative sign in front of parentheses. That's the key point, okay? Okay, let's move on. On the next one, So the first parentheses doesn't have a negative sign in front of it. So I don't have to worry about the first parentheses. Oh, by the way, the reason why I showed the first example, the way it's a, the, the longest way to show you the, uh, the power of this negative sign in front of parentheses, okay? If you try to do like without changing, like if you make this plus two, you're gonna end up with different result, which is not gonna match with the way that you do always. Okay, so that's why uh, I want to show this in the first example. It's now let's do the second example. Now we really need that. Okay, we cannot do the math inside of parentheses. We cannot add 4x plus 11 because one of them is a x term, the second one is a number. Okay, second parentheses has a negative sign in front of it, which is 
you have to switch everything inside of parentheses. But first of all, you need to write it down the first one as it is because there is a no negative sign, okay? So it's gonna be three X plus five Y minus four. And so now let's switch the second one. It's a negative four X and this plus becomes minus and it's 11. So the next step is now you have a bunch of terms. Like you have how many terms? 3x, 5y, 4, 4x, and 11. There are uh, five terms. But you need to combine the like ones. Uh, when I say like ones, the ones that has similar. So let's look at the uh, one by one. So the first term is a 4x, right? Is there any other x term? So there is a, another 4 uh, I mean 3x, and there is another x term, which is a 4x. So pay attention to the sign in front of it. So it's a positive 3x and this is a negative 4x. So when you combine these two, which is like 3x minus 4x, it becomes a 1x. But we're not putting a one in front of the variable. So it's gonna become like a just a, a, a negative x. Okay, because three minus four, it's a negative one, which is negative x. Now the second thing, let's take a look on the second variable. So it's a 5y and it's a positive five, which is a plus 5y. And is there any other y term? And as you can see, there is a no. Because of that, you need to just write it down as it is. But you cannot combine with anything because it doesn't have a, like a, the same uh, type of vari uh, variable terms. So it's going to be 5y itself. And the last one, so there is a numbers. So there is a 4 and there is a 11. And in front of those signs, there is a negative sign. And in front of 11 is also a negative sign, which is you have negative 4 minus 11. If you use your calculator, negative 4 minus 11, and it becomes negative 15, okay? So this is the simplest form of the expression, okay? And let's move on. The next one is the last one. So maybe you like this method. Uh, if you guys remember like combining uh, numbers vertically or combining means adding numbers vertic vertically. So for example, 315 added by 69, for example. Like everybody know, right? This way, to, uh, like by lining up the decimal uh, the place values and just add the numbers that it's li lined up. So you can also do the same method for these expressions. For example, your first number or your first expression is this one. So you need to write it down like clearly. It's a 5a plus 3b minus 6c. Okay. And it's an addition problem or addition of expression. So you're going to add them and write it down everything on the second one. Like you have to line up again. So you have first term is 2a. So you need to write it down under the a term. So under the 5a. You cannot write it down this 2a under the 6c because c and a, it's not at the same term. Okay. And second one is a like minus 4b. So you need to write it down under the b term. So it's a minus 4b. And the last one, it's a plus 13C. So you need to write it down that under the C term, which is uh, under the 6C, it's become uh, 13C. Now you can add them, okay? So 5A plus 2A will become 7A, okay? And second one, it's a positive 3B minus 4B or 3B plus negative 4B, it's the same thing. So it becomes negative 1B or you can say just negative B and the last one, negative six plus 13 C. So both of them are C term and it becomes positive seven. If you use your calculator, you can confirm this, okay? So this is how you can add expressions like by lining up uh, like each like terms like this. And now let's do the next one, like about difference, about subtracting. It's the same thing. You're gonna write it down the first expression as it is, it's a two X plus three Y minus four, okay? And, but when you write it down the second expression, you have to be very careful. It's because in front of that parentheses expression, there is a negative sign. So, which means when you write it down these, you need to switch to uh, signs. First, let's write it down as it is and then switch the sign. So we're not gonna get confused. So the first term is five X. You need to write it down under the X term, which is under the two X. So I'm gonna write it down five X right here. And Second term is just a positive two or plus two. So you need to write it down under the four, okay? You cannot write it down under the Y term, okay? 
So last thing, give me two more minutes. So now you have a negative sign. Now you can switch the signs. So because of the five X is plus, I need to reverse it. Because of it's a plus two, I need to reverse it. So it's gonna be minus two now, okay? So now you can do the addition. So two X minus five X, it becomes negative three X. And because of there is a nothing, you need to assume that there is a zero. So three Y plus zero, it's a three Y itself. And negative four minus two, if you use your calculator, it's gonna be negative six, okay? This is how you subtract two different All right, so yeah, I have a couple students said, yes, it is a 5X. So let's move on. Uh, when you add, when you add negative three, oops, three X with eight X, you just need to add the numbers because th these are the like terms. The like terms means like they have the same variables. So negative three plus eight, which is five, and you need to put the X right next to it because both of them are five X. Yes, you guys are correct. Thank you. For the second one, for the next one, the first, the first expression is negative seven G, okay? And so, and you need to find a sum. The second expression is, uh, you need to use a parentheses, by the way. It's a four G, four G plus two, okay? And because of in front of the parentheses, there is a non-negative sign. I don't have to worry about the signs that switching or making it opposite, okay? So you just need to rewrite this without parentheses so you can see all of them clearly. It says a negative seven G plus four G plus two. So uh, now you need to like regroup this. Okay, you said you don't understand this. So what we're doing is uh, it's basically writing it down these expressions inside of parentheses. If it says sum, like putting a plus sign in front of it. If it says difference, putting a minus sign. The second thing we were talking about, uh, like if there is a minus sign in front of a parentheses and switching everything inside. This is the uh, old thing we uh, talk about in the other slide. Okay, and we always need to check that before we drop the parentheses. So, and the next thing is, so you have negative seven G and plus four G. What do you think will happen these together? Seven G, negative seven G plus four G, negative seven plus four, which is negative three and you need to put the G, but you didn't do anything with plus two. And there is a no other number, like number alone, or there is a no other constant number. So you need to write it down right next to it, okay? So the first one is five X. The next one is negative three G plus two. And the next one, you need to find a difference. Difference means subtraction. You need to subtract one thing from another thing. So. So in, in the first parentheses, you need to write it down, which one, 6H or 2H uh, minus four. If you guys remember, subtracted from is a special phrase. Whatever comes after from, it has to be first. So 2H minus four comes first, okay? And the second parenthesis has to be 6H. So let's drop the parentheses now. Uh, 2H minus four, because if there is a no negative sign in front of it, you need to write it down as it is. And for the next one, uh, it's just a 6H itself and there is a negative sign. So you just need to put the negative sign in front of 6H that'll be enough. And then you need to combine the like terms. The like term is the terms that has the same variables, okay? So 2H minus 6H. So it becomes negative 4H. If you use your calculator, two minus six, it's a negative four. And what is left? It's just a minus four left. So you need to write it down minus four at the end, okay? So for the last one, 
There are two things again, negative three n minus seven and n, n plus four. So you have two parentheses and you need to subtract one from another. Whatever comes after subtracted from, that has to be first, so, which is n plus four. And the second one is uh, three, uh, negative three n minus seven. So n plus four, and because of on the second parenthesis, there is a negative sign, you need to switch everything opposite. It becomes plus three n and minus seven will become plus seven. And then you need to combine them. Yes, is it time to leave? So we have two minutes left. Make sure you finish up your uh, exit ticket. It's just a single question. It's about this adding and subtracting. So yeah, that's all.